Chapter 22 Warranties A contract for the sale of goods may include warranties. A warranty is an assurance by one party that a certain fact is true and may be relied upon by the other party. Warranties may be oral or in writing. In contract law, there are three important types of warranties. They are express warranties, implied warranties of merchantability, and implied warranties of fitness for a particular purpose. Let's discuss. First off, an express warranty is a specific promise made orally or in writing by the seller that affirms a fact or that describes goods or services. For example, a shoe salesman says, these shoes have steel toes, they are top quality. In this case, the statement that the shoes have steel toes is an express warranty, and therefore, the seller may be held liable if the shoes do not have steel toes. Note that the statement that the shoes are top quality is not an express warranty because it is merely sales talk or puffery. Let's move on and discuss the implied warranty of merchantability. Under the UCC, this warranty is implied in every contract for the sale of goods when the seller is a merchant. The implied warranty of merchantability warrants that goods are fit for their ordinary purposes. For example, you buy new shoes from a shoe store. A week later, after wearing the shoes for walking around the city, the shoes come apart. In this case, an implied warranty of merchantability exists because you purchase shoes from a merchant. The implied warranty of merchantability warrants that the shoes are fit for their ordinary purpose, which is to wear for walking and to last for a reasonable time. Since the shoes fell apart after only one week of walking, the shoes are not fit for their ordinary purpose, and the seller has breached the implied warranty of merchantability. Let's move on and discuss the implied warranty of fitness for a particular purpose. The implied warranty of fitness for a particular purpose is a promise that the goods are useful for a special function. Under the UCC, this warranty is implied in contracts when the seller has reason to know of a particular purpose for which the goods will be used, and the buyer relies on the seller's skill or judgment to select the goods. Note that the implied warranty of fitness applies to all sellers, whether a merchant or non-merchant. For an example, you go to a clothing store and tell an employee that you are going on a hiking trip and need a jacket for cold and wet weather. The employee picks out a jacket for you and says it will be perfect. Once you're on your trip, you realize that the jacket is not waterproof and you have a miserable time. In this case, because the employee knew that you needed a jacket for wet weather and you relied on the employee's judgment in selecting the jacket, there was an implied warranty of fitness for a particular purpose. Since the jacket was not waterproof, the warranty has been breached. Lastly in this chapter, note that in certain cases, implied warranties may be waived. If a seller issues a disclaimer that clearly eliminates implied warranties, for instance, states that the goods are sold as is, then the buyer agrees to accept goods in their present condition. Note that a seller may disclaim the warranty of merchantability either orally or in writing. However, a seller can only disclaim a warranty of fitness for a particular purpose in writing. In this chapter, we discussed warranties. We learned about express warranties, implied warranties of merchantability, and the implied warranty of fitness for a particular purpose. In the next chapter, we will begin discussing issues surrounding performance of contracts.